Hello Libra. Welcome back to my channel. This is a love reading for what you have experienced up until now in 2020. And what is it you're releasing, preparing yourself to come into 2021. Um, I will be doing a twin flame pick that is from my own creation. Here I have set two different piles. One's going to be for you. The other is for your person that you are watching this video on. And also thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button, tap the bell. And also thank you to all the Libras that have been calling me. Wow, the world and ugh, something's ending here. Someone's not ready. Um, here uh, also... What was I saying? I just lost all thought. Okay, it's okay. We're going to leave it alone because these cards popped out. So I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, so, oh, I was saying thank you for all those who reached out for a private reading. If you'd like one with me, my information is in the description box. So this, the beginning card, is your overall energy that is coming out. What is coming in here for you? Well, wow, the sun. So we have new, new. There's new beginnings here. Taking the risk, risk. On what? On your freedom. There's been some things that have been shed, some things that have been in the dark. If you're watching this, uh, Monday the 14th, and this is in regards to the solar um, new moon eclipse in Sagittarius. So this card is coming out. This is the card of Leo. This is the card of Taurus, Aries, Virgo. Um, actually, it could be any card. It's the full, it's the beginning. So it really is anyone's journey. What are you leaving behind? Um, you're leaving behind any indecision, not being decisive, not making a decision. So you're leaving behind doubt is what I want to say to you. Here, what is coming in? The unexpected is the awakening, judgment call, soul to purpose. So the unexpected is that divine timing is coming in and is raising you and is saying, wake up, wake up to what is coming. This is also reconciliation. So we're going to see a little bit more with what is coming in. There's a small offer, page of pentacles. This could be... Um, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So what is this offer in regards to the Three of Wands about the things that you have been waiting on? It has been very slow moving. Your love life has been very slow moving. It's a pentacle. So pentacles really take their time, but it's a small offering. It's a small gesture. And this is from somebody who felt like they didn't have enough to give you, like they didn't feel worthy of you. It is a page. So somebody who just feels like they're not enough or um, they don't have enough to give, but they're willing to give you what they have in order with a promise to bring you more is kind of the energy that I'm getting at the bottom of the deck. We have King of Wands. So this is saying, you know, um, it's very fatherly too, but this is when um, when it comes to love, it's like they've been through a lot or you've been through a lot and that you're just like, you know, you need to make a wise decision. It's a king of wands. The king of wands, you're not really rushing to make a decision because it seems like things have been going very slow. What you do want is resurrection. What you do want is to be the phoenix rising from the dead. What you want is not to be indecisive anymore. You want the new beginning. You want to take a leap of faith like the fool and you want to go towards the unknown to the greatest adventure of your life and bring some sun and some clarity into your life, right? And you know that things have been taking a while, but now you're ready. You're ready to receive what is coming in. Let's see the energies of your person. And here, as I split this open, so Seven of Swords and King of Pentacles, I say this is someone who deceives themselves by wealth, by money. So someone who wants to be a king, but he, this is somebody who does shady work or he cheats himself out of money or he steals money or he, uh, this is just not very honest when it comes with integrity, when it comes to finances and when it comes to life and to stability and things of that nature. So let's give this one a good shuffle and let's see where this person's energy is at at this time. We're just going to stop right here. So this is somebody who's still not in a rush. They're resting, they're taking their time, but this is somebody who is sending out messages. Again, somebody could be checking you out, what you're doing on your social media. You're somebody who shines. You're somebody who's really, somebody who is seen, seen by other people. This person is sending, you know, um, messages or re or just checking on you as they're resting and they're taking their time. It's been a time of, huh? Uh, what is it that they're behind? Uh, what is it that they are leaving behind? This indecision, you know, and not so two and two again. So you're leaving, your mind is made up. And this person in this way would be saying you're leaving one past world behind 
and this is like, okay, I'm gonna create my vision board with what I want, but this person is still, huh? It's like, okay, still not knowing. There's like, so leaving the not knowing behind, um, judgment for this person here, the unexpected, is he is realizing that he's going to have to put some work into this relationship or into any relationship. But I feel like this person has been putting work on his pentacles rather than in the relationship. Again, here with the love life, this is somebody who wants to have control, somebody who wants to run an empire, somebody who wants other people to recognize him, to work for him. Uh, he is wise, but this is somebody who's more in the seat of the power. And here I'm seeing more with the pentacles than with anything else. And his outcome is that, oh, he just, he again, very a slow moving energy, three of swords in the bottom. So this is telling me, um, you know, he doesn't want to break your heart. He doesn't want to heartbreak. He realizes this is not the energy that he wants to deal with. And um, he's your person that you're asking about as of late, has been more thinking about running and controlling his money is what I'm seeing. There are no hearts here, no cups. The only heart, and it's a swords, is with <laughs> this card here. So let's see what is coming on. But just remember, this is the closing of this month. So it's not 2021's reading, so don't get discouraged. This is about the closing out. So we have the Ace of Hearts for you. You're ready for love. You want love. You want to pour your cup of love. You want to receive love. You want love, love, love is all you want. You want love. And you are willing to give this love to yourself if, if this person is going to take by any much longer. And then for this person, the night. So again, this person is acting like an emperor, but I'm seeing a lot of page and knight energies. So the watcher here, so this again would be a knight of um, swords. So this is somebody who's just watching, who's observing, but you know, he could be really too trying to raise his vibration. You know, we've got different symbols here with the ohm and uh, that's uh, the star of David or I kind of to me, it's like the Merkaba. And then this card came out, Queen of Angels, which is the Queen of Swords, which is visionary. So you really need to cut through the illusions of what this is. And really, you know, you want love, but again, here, you're the ace and this is a knight. So I'm just going to leave it at that. The Queen of Swords comes and says it's time for you to cut through the illusions and really come in alignment. Wake up. What is it that you want? Are you willing to just keep waiting a long time for something that may or may not come because somebody hears more on the pentacle so this is just for this month here so what is this saying so this you know it could keep you around because you flirt extend your light-hearted energy to each other and this person could be a flirt here we have healing family issues so your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so maybe there's some issues in regards to parents and then we have the card of wedding. It says this situation involves marriage. Some of you could be married to this person. Some of you want to get married to this person. There can be some issues when it comes to um, family healing issues when it comes to marriage. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the card of deception, which would be that seven of swords. Someone is wearing a false mask. Okay. Wow. And this wanted to show itself. So, okay. True love, this is a romance of a lifetime. So some of you may think that this is true love. For some of you, true love can be coming in once you stop deceiving yourself for, for the relationships that you have been entertaining. Let's see the zodiac sign. Let's see what comes out. So, and, okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead. That's too many, let's just take these. Okay, so Aquarius, so air, air. So this could be, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, or, um, Libra, and then we'll just take one more, or you could be dealing with a Leo. And that is all that is I'm seeing here. Let's go to the twin flame journey. What are the messages that you are sending out and telling each other right now? What is something that you would like to say? Narcissist, grandiose, selfish, and ego. Oh, I hate to say it, but that's the emperor in its reversal. But you know, somebody again could be very much fixated on finances and on their coin and just checking on you then really being in love and being with you that's where you got to be careful with this deception card the next card i forgive you please forgive me so someone is maybe recognizing that um and the next card 
high vibrational aligned. So one of you is awake, the other one is not, and you are too, as I was saying that, awakened and sleeping. Yep. So one of you, the watcher, the sun, the fool here, judgment is awake. You're awakening to consciousness, to energy, to love, and to all these things. The other person is still unawakened, still in this place of grandiose and selfishness and their ego and working on their pentacle. You got to listen to your intuition, trust your path, use your psychic awareness, inner knowing and wisdom to know what this uh, relationship is all about. Until the end of the month, I will be doing what is um, coming in when it comes to love, but these are the lessons. The lessons here are for you to really wake up and understand the journey that you are on so you can take yourself out of any indec indecision and know your true soul, calling your true path when it comes to love. I'm sending you much love, much light. Until next time, namaste.